Hey, I'm Julie and welcome to Brain Stuff. Most of us think that the spit inside of our mouth is gross. I mean, it's not as nasty as the acidic bile that a xenomorph gaping maw has, but it's still pretty nasty. Saliva is actually an incredibly complex fluid that facilitates lots of necessary functions. It lubricates our mouths, moistens our food, assists in digestion, protects our teeth, and even defends our mouths from microorganisms. Saliva is made by a group of cells called salivary glands that deliver it into our mouths through ducts. Now humans have four kinds of salivary glands. First, there's the parotid glands, which are opposite our front lower molars, kind of nearly parallel to our earlobes. These secrete a thin liquid that's full of rich antibacterial proteins and compounds that remineralize our teeth. They don't care whether or not you're chewing on bread or plastic. They will go to work on anything in your mouth. Next, there's the submandibular glands, which are shaped kind of like eggs and they're embedded below the floor of the mouth, just above the throat. Now, these produce a more viscous fluid used to lubricate the throat and mouth. Also, below the floor of the mouth, there's the sublingual glands, which are shaped like almonds. They produce similar lubricating secretions. And finally, there's a fourth salivary gland that covers the tongue and the lining of our mouth with hundreds of smaller glands. You know how sometimes you feel small bumps on your inner lip? Well, that's them, and while they lubricate the mouth, they also protect it against infections. Okay, so that's a lot of saliva being secreted by those four different glands. It's mostly made up of water, but it also contains enzymes that break down food for digestion and do the whole protection from infection thing. So when it's not digesting and making things taste great, saliva is also a lethal killer of germs. In fact, spit is so good at cleaning, some art conservators use it on fragile surfaces and instead of chemical solutions. In some cultures, a mother will even spit into her infant's mouth to teach their immune systems how to produce antibodies and destroy pathogens. Because of all the antibodies already in the mother's saliva, this introduces the infant to bacteria without getting them sick. And finally, did you know that our saliva contains our entire genetic blueprint? If you're trying to get away from a crime scene, do not spit on anything because it only takes half of an eyedropper drop worth of spit to sample your DNA. You can even take a sample yourself, send it through the mail, and get your own genetic information. So what is your favorite thing about spit? Let us know in our YouTube comments, and while you're at it, please subscribe to Brain Stuff channel. That way you'll know whenever we've dropped more everyday science for you to devour.